Hello and welcome to a short demo. My name is Sil, and today we're going to be looking at this project that I've been working on for the last uh, month or so in DirectX. It is somewhat Minecraft looking. It's a voxel engine. So um, we've been working on getting various things set up with DirectX. I've never used DirectX before, so lots of learning, lots of searching. Um, but uh, we've gotten this voxel engine sort of set up now that we have uh, chunks. Um, currently we have uh, static buffers being generated for each chunk and then whenever you change it, it has to regenerate that buffer and pass the new vertex data over to DirectX. Um, and then as we move around here you can see that we're only drawing a certain subset of all the chunks so there's quite a few of these in here. Um, and they're all running pretty fast. I haven't been able to get that many chunks drawn or that many vertices past OpenGL without dropping the frame rate below 30. So we'll see if we can get some uh, optimizations going there of some type. I, I don't actually really know what kind of optimizations I can do in DirectX, but we will see. Uh, for now, it's serving, pur serving our purpose, so we'll leave it as is. Um, we've been working with quite a few different things, uh, getting some basic functionality set up. As you can see, we have some ray casting going on, so I can uh, figure out which block I'm looking at. We can add, or we can delete and add blocks here. Um, we got a very tiny amount of HUD going on here, as you can see in the top left, it says stone. Um, we're using STB true type to generate a font, uh, a packed bitmap font that we can then use to draw different uh, characters, right? And so as I change it here, we can see which type of uh, block we're placing, which is useful. Um, STB libraries are great, I'd highly recommend checking those out. We built a little house here. Um, kind of a crappy simple house. Um, I don't have any rotation of blocks yet, so the logs are all upward facing. But we do have uh, the ability to have different faces or different textures on each side. So we have a different texture for the top, the, the sides, and the bottom, which is pretty cool. Let's see. Um, the main thing that we've been working on recently is a different sort of rendering method that uses kind of a, a voxel flood fill. So if we set, we can set the position that it starts from, and so you can't really see that, but I press a button here, um, so the start position will be like in the middle of this room, and then if we switch over to that rendering mode, we can see um, it's just rendering that room. So basically what happens here is it starts from the block that we selected, right, and then it does a flood fill in the voxel uh, data, and it finds all of the walls and everything, and it draws the walls as it goes through, and can't see it too well in a small room, but we'll go to somewhere you can't see it. But as it goes farther out, it gets darker and darker. Um, one of the things I've added recently is this um, kind of shadow technique. As you can see, there's still blocks down there, but since presumably the player is standing here, he wouldn't be able to see the center of those blocks. Um, I'm still working with a way to try and make that a little bit of a nicer cutoff um, since you can actually see the top of those blocks. So presumably you should be able to see those. But um, it is kind of cool. It does do essentially what I programmed it to do. Um, if we go down here, let's set the position there, and we can see a little bit better of a demonstration of what that shadow technique kind of does, right? So it cuts off that whole area, um, and it does that using ray casting. So basically, just every block that it, it wants to draw, it does a ray cast to the original position. If it hits any other blocks in between, it, it's a shadow and it doesn't draw anything. So. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, I've enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, we can kind of go see, it doesn't look so nice in the caves here, but it works. Um, oops, let's set it there. Well, let's set it. Obviously, I've still got some bugs with this. But if we set it there, we can see that, you know, we got a nice kind of cave here that gets darker as you go up. So yeah, that's about it. Um, we're going to be working with that, adding some characters and some dialogue, um, hopefully getting that rendering looking a little bit nicer, and then we'll get some collision with axis line bounding boxes, and then we'll go for there. So thanks for watching. This has been Sil, and uh, have a great day.